Welcome fellow Quest heads and VR nerds, this is Eyes on VR where we love VR shooters, we love keeping up to date with the latest VR news as well. Today we're going to do a short review for this channel but it's going to be no less detailed than normal. We're going to be looking at Guardians, it is for PC VR, it's for the Oculus Quest as well, it will be out by the time I've got this video out. If you can imagine Starship Troopers mixed with an RTS game, this is exactly what you're going to get in VR over here. So let's get into the review. Hello, below there. Hello, up there. <laughs> oh, what oh, a shot. Oh, that was a shot. There's another Scorpo here. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Whoa, there is a lot of them over here. <laughs> dragons! Whoa, those are dragons. There's two. Whoa, those are some nasty looking dragons. They take so many hits. I love how the legs kick and you're Yeah, fired. kick as you fall off, off the, the map. map. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, if I had one of these rifles, I think I'd frame it on my wall. Look at this. Is it getting hot in here? Woo! The bridge. It's like a film. Don't let them cross the bridge. <laughs> yeah, hold the line, man. Hold the line. <laughs> Man, these bugs are big. Oh, no. no. Why? I shouldn't have left you. Now nah, you have to... If I didn't take the tutorial, I'd be fumbling over myself. Yay! Woo, we did it! Hi, high five. Ah, oh, yes. A high ten is nice. Oh, yeah. A duke in high five. Oh, yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you enjoy the video. We also have a Discord, it's in the description down below, and that's where you'll find the timestamps for the entire video too. Let's go! Now, I said this game has RTS elements, and that is absolutely true. You can spawn different units on the battlefield to help you conquer the bug enemy. You can build yourself an army to help you with your mission. You can spawn a whole heap of units. You can spawn everything from little humanoid robots to help you out all the way up to big boy mechanoids that look like they just came out of Pacific Rim or Titanfall. There's also plenty of help as well from behind the lines. You can spawn cannons, you can spawn anti-aircraft guns, you can spawn a whole host of things, explosive barrels, proximity mines, even build yourself a big wall to block the enemy from coming at you for a little bit till it's destroyed. You'll be doing all of this with the multi-tool. This is going to be your best friend while you play Guardians. Just press A which is the bottom button on your right hand controller or if you're a lefty then it will be on the bottom of your left hand controller. Equip the multi-tool, select the unit that you want, place it wherever you want. This is really going back to Red Alert, Age of Empires, Empire Earth, all those kind of games and you can also tell your units what to do whether you want them to defend an area, move to attack, patrol or follow. The AI on them works really well if you tell them to defend something they're going to be defending something. If you want them to move they'll go, if they want you to follow they'll follow at good pace and good range. You can end up building yourself an entire mountain of a defense against an enemy that can become a cold white a pain in the bum. So that's it for the RTS elements. Now it's time to talk about our favorite thing here at Eyes on VR and that's the guns, that's the weapons. What are you using against this opposing force that you have to fight? Seriously, that is one high detailed pistol. I can even read the numbers on it? That's crazy! Oh yeah, I am telling you, if I had one of these, I would frame it on my wall. Look at this thing. Man, is it getting hot in here? Ooh. Look at this rocket launcher. I can read the display screens on it. Well, you get a good selection of weapons here. My favorite is the pistol. I love the pistol. Now, I'm going to refer to everything basically as laser pistol, laser assault rifle, because that's exactly what they fire. Now, the pistols, they are amazing. You can double up on them so you can dual wield, which gets a special mention because we love dual wielding here. Plus, double wheeling the pistols here is absolutely deadly. You will annihilate everything in your path with dual pistols. And also, who doesn't love firing those things? The assault rifle is fantastic as well. What's really nice is the scope or the sight on the assault rifle. You have to line up two separate parts of the sight to get your shot on target. So it's not just looking through here. You have to line up two pieces to get the right shot directly on target where you're aiming and to be honest that seems so sci-fi and futuristic that i kind of really enjoy it 
You have the plasma bow as well. Now, if you want to unlock your inner Lego last or you just want to be the archer of the team, the plasma bow is deadly. This thing, I wouldn't say it's OP, but it is pretty deadly. It will do a lot of damage compared to other weapons, not because it's a pain to use, but because you're just going to be a bit slower. Trust me, master the bow and you will master this game. Now there are other weapons but I don't want to spoil everything for you but I will say this, there is a Half-Life style weapon in here that you will all recognize and understand how to use quite immediately but shh, not going to spoil it for you. Special mention goes to the detail on these weapons, they are so high definition for this game I cannot believe it, I think they even rival the detail of contractors weapons, it is just so full on, you can pull these things right up to your face and you can see it clear as day, they are beautiful, I also want to say well done to the team on the animations, they've not gone for the onward style of oh maybe I'm near the weapon and I'm cocking it, they have gone for lock on animations for cocking your weapon and speaking of there are two ways to reload your weapon as well which is fantastic especially when you're in the heat of battle, now you can either fire until your gun is overheated just like Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge then you pull the charging handle on it and it will release the pressure or the heat or whatever but you'll be good to go for another magazine obviously with double pistols it's not something you can do but with any weapon double or not you can just place them point them down to the floor and then bring them back up and they will have reloaded themselves so they've really covered every base here when it comes to reloading weapons to make things easier for us the players awesome love that so where are you going to use these weapons and use these RTS elements? Well, you're going to use them on three different planets to start with. Each planet has four different sections that you play through. That's 12 different sections right now on three different planets. So first you have Titan. This is a desert planet, very Mars type planet. You know, a lot of desert, a lot of orange, a lot of, lot of yellow going on here. Next, you've got Dagobah. Now, I would have thought it would have been a swamp planet, but... No, it's a snow planet. You'll get plenty of uh, snow. You'll definitely get your fill. A lot of white, good contrast, I have to admit, with going desert, then cold, so I quite like that. Then after that, you've got Zephyr... Zephyr 2? And I'm not going to tell you anything about that planet because I like to at least give you something to look forward to when you do get these games. Now the levels work the same way whether you're on a different planet or not or whatever stage you're on, just the layout of the map will change and maybe what you're doing but you will pretty much always be defending something. You will always be either defending something specific like a warp gate or a fusion reactor or something where you'll just have a level where they will just the enemy will just come at you and you stay mostly static to defend. But you will also have moving defenses as well. You'll have a uh, sort of AI mining robot that will go around mining resources while you have to protect it while you're on the move. You won't always be on the move though. You just get to different sections in the map where it will stop and mine to a certain point and you have to surround it and protect it. Some of these are great and really have some Starship Trooper vibes. There is one on the snow level of Dagobah where you are basically in a big army base that's in like a rectangle and you have to defend the hell out of it from the enemy and that is so so much like the scene from Starship Troopers, I got a little bit giddy, not gonna lie to you. Now even with all that content on top of it, you can still do co-op and you can still do PvP as well. Now the co-op is self-explanatory, you and up to three other players can play through the entire campaign together as a team. I did this really really fun I mean it's so much fun by yourself even doing the campaign but when you do it with someone else as well just ups the fun a million times it's so enjoyable I highly recommend co-op right away the PvP unfortunately I can't tell you much about because I never found anyone online to play at the same time as me to do PvP I found someone for co-op a couple of times but that was just pure luck but I will say it's not down to lack of players even though it's a closed beta, it's just time zones. A lot of people from the US are playing the closed beta whereas people over here where I am are not so those timelines just don't really match up. But the PvP from what I understand is exactly the same but you just use your RTS elements to build a bunch of robots, build a bunch of mechs and then you just take that army towards the next human and you just battle it out till the end which sounds amazing. Think Age of Empires multiplayer, think uh, Red Alert multiplayer, exactly the same thing. Now we talked about the weapons but the special mention goes to the loadout because they've got two areas and things covered here. So when you're playing the game if you press the bottom left button on your off hand controller you will bring up your weapons menu and from there you can physically just grab your weapons 
out of that menu very uh walking dead saints and sinners sort of style star wars tales from the galaxy's edge style which is great uh, you know that's a system people know and that's great one thing i found when i was playing it though i was like i wish i could have my weapons on me physically so i could reach down and grab them or reach over my back and grab weapons from there but i couldn't but what i have learned is if you go to the loadout section where you can customize your loadout you can put weapons you can choose which weapons you want sorry and then put them wherever you feel like it if you click the button right on the bottom of that menu that says show inventory basically what it will do is it will bring up a little figure for you to see where each slot of your weapons is but also when you get into the game it will display your weapons physically so if you want to draw properly a laser pistol you can if you want to draw doubles you can which is great because they've got both bases covered here people that don't want to do it realistically like that and just want to have a menu grab grab they can people who want to play it realistically get assault rifle from their back pistols from their legs you can too much respect for that these guys really seem to have a theme of accommodating every style of play and i think that makes this so accessible to people now speaking of thorough and covering every kind of play style the settings are no different there's a lot of settings here to change to customize things to the way you want it to go everything from making your menu static rather than moving around you can toggle always run you can change the height of your avatar because you are fully rendered which is fantastic and always quite amusing you can change from snap turn to smooth turning you can turn on tunnel vision for some reason god knows why you would want to Blech. You can change the difficulty, the anti-aliasing, you can toggle your grip type from toggle or hold. You can also choose to have low glow shots. Now this is quite important for anyone that's a bit sensitive to light. Basically when you fire these laser weapons like the pistol or assault rifle, it does flash the entire screen because it's a laser, it's bright, it's right in your face. But you can turn this down. So if you are a bit more sensitive to light or maybe headaches from playing VR, this will help a lot with uh, flashing lights and the intensity of light. So I recommend turning that on which again is so accommodating for people and really covers a lot of play styles so before you jump into this game properly whether it's the campaign or whether it's just co-op or pvp go into the main settings on the main menu and go through all of them customize it exactly how you want now here's a quick fire round of really fun features that i thoroughly enjoyed you have a jetpack so you can jump basically hulk style all over the map if you want to you can teleport to certain defensive positions in an absolute instant. When you're jetpacking through the air, if you're in co-op, look at the other person because they'll be kicking their legs like they're swimming. The tutorial is very helpful. It's very detailed and letting you know how to teleport, how to shoot, how to line up your sight with the double lineup for your assault rifle to make accurate shots. It will teach you how to jetpack. It will teach you how to do all the RTS elements. It will let you know how to put down units, how to move them, how to do this, how to do that. Very detailed tutorial. Love it. So the enemies, who are you fighting? Well, you're fighting bugs. It's pure Starship Trooper stuff. Bugs, 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 bugs. No robots, just bugs. Now these bugs range from all different kinds of classes. You've just got normal bugs. You've got bigger normal bugs. You've got massive scorpions, all the way down to little tiny little beetles that will blow you the f up. Stay away from those guys, they are horrible. But you get bugs of all shapes and sizes, like I say. You can go from just four-legged creepy crawlies all the way up to massive scorpions and dragons. Because don't forget, there are flying bugs here too, and they are a right pain in the ass. The enemy variety here is good. You never get too overwhelmed by one type of enemy. The variety is good enough that you always seem to have something different coming around the corner at you at any one time. So you have to update your approach to deal with certain bugs because certain approaches don't work with some bugs and some of them do with others. Now I said that this was going to be a quick review for this channel and I don't know whether it has turned out that way because from what I've done I've talked a lot. So I'm not sure but hopefully this was a nice quick short sharp review of Guardians available on Oculus Quest systems, PC VR. You guys have enjoyed it and you're going to go check out the game. It's at the moment it's available on SideQuest. It will be available on App Lab. They have put in their application but these things take time so just keep an eye out for it. Other than that, go and download it right now. Enjoy yourself. Get your bug killing Starship Trooper Marine 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you did, because there's a hell of a lot more VR content coming to this channel. I can tell you that right now. Don't forget to check out the Discord. It's in the link in the description. We talk about all things VR, some stuff that isn't, but it is mostly VR because we love VR. That's why we're there. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Rex. This is Eyes on VR. Come back anytime. We're happy to have you. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Whoa, there's a lot of them. They're going for it. I need protection! <laughs> Protect me! <laughs>